What's up, y'all? It's Marshall Couture, also known as Plex of Donkey Job Projects. And today is day four of 100 days of making time <laughs> to make paintings for 100 days in a row. And, um, yeah, so. Alright, so good news, bad news. <laughs> I didn't touch any paint today <laughs> but uh, so that would be the bad news good news I finally decided a hundred percent on what I'm going to paint and the image you will see right now is what I'm gonna paint I'm gonna do a self-portrait um, the reason why I decided to go with the self-portrait is um, well basically there's two challenges out right now one my friend um, Phil Owens and Mike Vallad is um, doing and then also the art casters um, this month is the self-portrait uh, challenge so that's cool and also I need to you know come up with something for a painting <laughs> so that's cool and if I mess up the likeness hey it's a picture of me so I can't get mad at me <laughs> so that's cool <laughs> I guess but um <clears throat> and um you know it'll also be a cool picture to use for my profile pics and stuff I guess right <laughs> and I think it re reflects um you know the vibe or the seriousness I guess that and you guys don't see that part of it but um you know it's the seriousness with which I am taking my you know art right now um, you guys see the more happy-go-lucky type of person <laughs> but you know I I really want to make something of this art, you know, and I, I kind of at the point where the place, you know, my, my day job type of situation, you know, it's fine, you know, it does, pays the bills, you know, sometimes barely, but it pays the bills, but it's not really using any kind of specific skill set that I have for sure, and, you know, I want to, I see a lot of my friends online, you know, making a living um doing this stuff and to be honest i want to do that as well and it's not out of like some kind of weird jealousy or envy it's i'm encouraged by that like it's it's like wow they're doing it so you know yeah it's hard but maybe i could do it too um but i need to i feel like i need to get up more skill i guess or or at least refine the skill that i have to a point where it's more professional um, so, I'm really determined, um, needless to say, and, um, you don't necessarily always hear that in what I do or the way I talk because, you know, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not desperate, you know, I, I have a job and whatever, you know, and I, I'm doing all right, but I really, I mean, you don't realize how hungry I am to, like, you know really make this thing happen um, at the same time I have you know plenty of faith you know I'm not freaking out or anything but I'm just I really want it you know because you know I just feel like I'd be more useful to the to the world if I was busy doing what I kinda feel like I was created to do you know and I don't mean that as a weird, like, religious thing so much. It's just that, um, I mean, I do feel that way, sort of. But, like, I don't feel like I'm God's gift of artist to, you know, humanity or anything weird like that. But I just believe that this is kind of what I'm good at. I've always been kind of bent towards and something I just love doing. And I think that's a good hint to the fact that maybe I should... That's what, there's a reason why I feel that way, you know. So, 
regardless whether that you know I mean I, I believe it originates um, with a higher power but um, regardless whether that is or is not um, you know in your mind or anybody's mind I um, I want to do it <laughs> and I feel like I'll be better off doing something that I love than something that I could care less about <laughs> which would be the day job you know I mean I care about it in that I like the people I work with and you know I've gotten to a comfortable enough place where I, I can enjoy it to a certain extent but you know for the most part it serves the function of paying the bills and that's really it and there's nothing within the job you know that I really love you know or am interested in and I don't know I, I feel like, I mean, there's a cap on my pay, too, like, meaning there's only so far I can go, you know, <laughs> which is, I've already hit the limit a long time ago. <laughs> so, I mean, I need to at least, I would like to make some supplemental income, at least with the art, you know, and, and build up. And I can see the path for, that people like, um, you know, Peter Palmiotti, Kevin Cross, Scott Circlin, um, Jeff Lafferty, and many more of you guys, Jay Ferguson, um... I can see how you guys are making it possible, you know, and you're using your skill. And some, you know, sometimes you're doing really good. Sometimes, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle. But a lot of you guys have been doing this for a long time, you know, or at least partially for a long time. Some of them, some of you have been doing it for a really long time, 100%. So, you know, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do what I'm best at for a living you know, or, I mean, I, I feel like there's, you know, there's actually, I think there's plenty of market out there for it, and, um, one thing that's a, a tough thing is there's a surplus of artists, you know, there's tons of artists who are really good, too, so, you know, a lot of times I've felt like maybe I shouldn't try because there's so many better artists than me, or, you know, something like that, but to be honest, um, yeah, there are, but not every artist is willing to do what it takes to make a living. Um, the percentage of artists that are pretty decent at their art to those which are willing to be 100% determined, you know, I don't know, it might be like 20%, you know, of those people. So can 20% of artists... Uh, make a living at it maybe sounds a little more reasonable I mean those are just numbers I'm making up you know but I don't know seems like it could be somewhat realistic or maybe it's a little different than that but I don't know I'm feeling sort of optimistic in in the way that I feel like I can kind of make my own way hopefully and so yeah this is what I'm gonna you know right now I'm just focusing on making art that I love um, some of it might go up for sale and everything, and that's cool, but right now I'm, I'm more focused than anything, not even on making money as much as, um, getting some mastery over the craft that I have, and, and just being the best I can be at it, so, yeah, that's about all I really wanted to talk about, um, share kind of my heart with you about this art stuff and you know I'm just super determined and I'm not gonna back down you know until this happens and even then I'm just never gonna back down I mean this is what I love to do I want to do it for the rest of my life so that's about it guys thanks for watching um, you guys are super awesome hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you on the next uh, episode of making paintings for a hundred days peace out I'm at the donkey job. Look at the donkey job.